Now, as promised, you're going to see some conclusive proof. In fact, you're going to see something most people have never seen before. Through the use of a dark field microscope and video technology, it is now possible to see live blood samples, display them on a monitor, record them on tape, and visually document the positive effects of pycnogenols and digestive enzymes. To start out with, I want to show you what normal healthy blood cells look like so that you can identify the unhealthy blood samples you are about to see. This microscopic sample of healthy living blood shows the red blood cells to be round, evenly shaped, and freely floating in plasma. There are no signs of clotting, bacteria, foreign matter, fungal, or stress. This is the kind of blood a healthy person should have flowing through their circulatory system. This is Dana's blood before she started taking pycnogenols. Here you see free radical damaged red blood cells. They have small holes, look eaten away, and are spiked. In this condition, there is a severe restriction in the amount of oxygen and nutrients that the cell can take in and carry to her capillaries and tissues. Free radical damage weakens the cells, allowing microorganisms to penetrate the cell wall. Once inside the cell, these organisms contribute to numerous diseases, such as arthritis, pneumonia, and even neurological disorders. In Dana's case, chronic fatigue syndrome. And I have been to doctor after doctor, uh, since some people don't believe there is such a thing. Um, it's been a very frustrating fight with the physicians, the traditional physicians, on whether chronic fatigue is truly something that um, a person can have. But I know because I'm so fatigued all the time that this is a reality for me. Now believe it or not, this is Dana's blood 30 days after taking pycnogenols. As you can see, Dana's blood has changed significantly because of pycnogenols. Her red blood cells are round, separated, they are not clumped together and are capable of carrying oxygen and nutrients to her tissues. When I was first introduced to the pycnogenols, um, I uh, was very skeptical of what it was supposed to do. But I am so desperate to find something that works that I was willing to try one more time. Uh, a product that said that it would make me feel better and I was just absolutely amazed at the results that it did do exactly what it said it would do and make me feel better. It's the first time in my life that I have felt so good. Now this is Terry's blood. Her red blood cells are hooked together in chains. This is called Rouleau. As such, the transportation of oxygen is drastically hindered. This results in a decrease of circulation which can cause chronic fatigue, poor digestion, and edema. This clumping of cells cannot penetrate Terry's capillaries, which can cause degenerative tissue diseases. The needles in the areas between the cells are liver stress marks. I had no energy. I was tired all the time. I didn't feel good. I had had problems with blood clots. I've been on blood thinners. I had chronic bladder infections, yeast infections. I had problems with my digestion. Now this is Terry's blood 30 days after taking pycnogenols and digestive enzymes. As you can see, the blood is almost completely normal. The red blood cells are separated, they're round, they're distinct, they're carrying the maximum oxygen and nutrients, and there are no stress lines in the gray areas. The little red raspberry-shaped bodies are platelets, and they are normal and separated. Platelets play an important role in the blood coagulation and clot formation. This is a picture of very healthy looking blood, capable of carrying oxygen and nutrients to her tissues. It, it's like I'm a new person. I feel good again. I feel almost like a kid again. I feel well and healthy. So I'm excited. Max's blood has very, very tight chains or rolls of coins. This is a Rouleau formation to its maximum extent. The chains are extremely long. There are no single red blood cells. His protein digestion is greatly diminished. Well, yeah, because I've taken so many uh, vitamin supplements and things in the past, vitamin E, vitamin C, and all the other things that you can run into, you know. Uh, I've taken those and didn't seem to get any help from them or feel any different or any better. 
Thirty days after taking pycnogenols and digestive enzymes, Max's blood shows that the Rouleau formation is totally gone. No more chains, cells are separated, they're much healthier looking. The blood cells are round, freely floating in plasma, and the cell walls are strong. Max has just eaten before this evaluation. Therefore, he has small bits of undigested fats, those little pepper particles, that are in the inner spaces between the cells. Enzymes will have these particles out of the system within three hours after eating. In four days, I had more energy, or as much energy as I had had when I was 30 years old. It just felt so great. Um, I was eating the same thing, and didn't change my diet whatsoever, I just was, um, and I was working all day long, which is what I used to do, and not getting tired. This is a blood sample of another individual. This shows free radical damage to red blood cells. This individual has chronic fatigue syndrome, was able to work only two to three hours per day, and was technically disabled. 30 days after pycnogenols, this individual was able to work a normal day of 8 to 10 hours without fatigue, normal energy and breathing. His blood pressure is normal and steady. Amazing as it may seem, this is live blood. This extreme damage of red blood cells is due to accidental contamination from toxic chemical waste. For four years, he was totally disabled, using a wheelchair, and suffered severe leg and joint pain. This is the blood of the same person 30 days after taking pycnogenols. He now leads a normal life, no longer suffering from symptoms of chemical contamination, and has returned to work. This blood is not yet perfect, but you've just seen the difference between life and death. I was very surprised at how well my blood was flowing and the shortness of time that it took to get it that way. That was the amazing thing is that it only took 10 or 12 days in order for my blood to make a good turnaround and another uh, couple of weeks behind that before I started feeling a little bit better. Pignagel doesn't do anything but clean the blood. It gives me the energy, it heals my body, and I heal myself. Like I told you, the proof is positive. You've seen it for yourself. And if we had time to show you more, there are literally stacks of videotapes and photographs all documenting results just as convincing. Let's face it. Free radicals and enzyme deficiency are here to stay. But now, since your body is the perfect healer, you know how to defend yourself in an even more powerful way by taking advantage of the health-giving benefits these amazing products have to offer.